Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Python beginner tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to pass a list as an argument to a function. Okay, in Python, uh, functions can take either no arguments, a single argument, or more than one argument. We can pass a string, integer, list, tuple, dictionary as a function arguments during a function call. The function accepts them in the same format and then returns the desired output. Now, we want to pass the list that contains multiple elements and these elements acts as a multiple arguments of a function. This concept of passing a single list of elements as multiple arguments is known as an unpacking argument list. Okay, in our earlier video, we saw about the use of star args, right? So we use star args to unpack the single argument into multiple arguments. We use the unpacking operator asterisk when arguments are not available separately. For example, you uh, can uh, imagine a range function. Okay, a range function in Python stores three different arguments, basically like start, stop, and step. If a user does not want to input the value separately, he or she can write the function call with the star operator to unpack the argument out of a list or tuple. All right. So do not worry. We'll see a very basic example to make you understand how to pass a list as an argument to a function all right so let me take a very basic example uh, let me take the players example that i've been using throughout my series so first let's before creating a function let's uh, create a list okay so um, i am calling my list as players name players name equal to Sachin, um, say, um, Dhoni, Arvirat. All right. So this is our list. Okay. So I want to pass this list as an argument to my function. So what I would do is, I would just pass my list name here as an argument. All right, so what I'm planning to do is just loop through the list and print all the names in the players list. All right, so for x in players name, print x. All right, so that's what I'm planning to do. And finally, we have to call the function. So function is called it as players and players name. All right. Name. It should be players. Okay, I missed an S, so it should be. All right, so it's players name everywhere. So now if I run this, you can see it printed me each and every element of a list one by one. All right, so this is a very basic example of how you can pass a, a list as an argument to a function. Right, let's see a little uh, complex example. Okay, so this is a similar kind of example which we saw in our previous video. Okay, so this time we'll try to calculate sum of n numbers. All right, so let's have a list called list to one equal to some list basically say six comma. Uh, 3 comma 5 comma 12 comma 9 all right so this is a list i have now i want to pass this list as an argument to a function where it will calculate this sum so i will define my addition method let's call it as star num so we already discussed about the star argument right so you know if you are not sure about how star argument work i would suggest you to look at my previous video where i have provided you a difference between star arcs and double star k keyword arguments all right so here i am passing my um, numbers as a argument all right and then uh, sum equal to zero for num in numbers so i'm looping through each and every item in my argument and then sum plus r equal to 
now all right and finally i am printing the sum print sum all right so here i already have my list here all i need to do is call my function addition and i need to pass on the list here keen you note this might be a little confusing but if you understand it it's very easy all right so here instead of passing my argument okay so what i am doing is i'm just passing my list value all right so to calculate the sum of all the values provided in the list in a usual way okay you would pass numbers here whenever you call whenever you call a function right so what you would do is generally you would use the same uh, argument name while calling it here all right while do making a function call where else in this example you can see i have passed a list as my argument in the function call so this way you can actually calculate this sum oops what is the mistake i'm making all right i missed the call here it is it now calculated the sum of all numbers provided in a list so 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 12 plus 9 equal to 30 5 all right so this way you can pass multiple arguments okay so let me explain this further okay if it is really confusing so in this example the list one is the iterable that is passed as an argument okay so this list one is the iterable that is passed as an argument the function definition treats this list as a multiple arguments all right so the function definition will treat this list as a multiple argument the program loops over the given list and uses each element of the list as a separate argument to the function the example code that i've written here right the example code just unpacks the list using the star args okay here i'm using star list one so it unpacks the list using star arg syntax when defining the function all right so this is how you will pass um, multiple arguments all right so this way you can easily understand how uh, uh, the concept of unpacking argument list all right so i hope you guys understood how to pass list as an argument to uh, a function okay so there are many ways in which you can do i have given you very two basic examples on which how you can pass list as an argument to a function similarly you can also pass tuple and dictionary when you use dictionary you use it as a keyword argument all right so i would suggest you to try that on your own May maybe do that as an homework if you have any queries in those please let me know in the comment section so if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you